Okay, my favorite topic. Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on my new favorite gourmand fragrances, which like I just said, is like my favorite type of fragrances. I love gourmands. I love sweet fragrances. I love sweets in general. I've always been a fan of like chocolate and like sweet stuff. Um, I love vanilla. I love so many different things, but especially in fragrance, like gourmand fragrances, I've loved them for a very long time and I still love them. So for me, that's kind of crazy. Like usually I go in phases of fragrances, but really I've loved gourmands for most of my fragrance journey. So anyways, today I'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of new gourmands that are like my favorites. The first one is from Roger Parfums and this is Qatar. Now this is sweet. Like this is sweet stuff. It even has a candy floss note in it and oh like it's so 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 good this is a oud combination like a sweet oud so you do have to like oud because it is a little bit of an animalic oud in here for sure so the oud is very present in the fragrance even more than something like lancome's oud bouquet the oud is more present in this fragrance here but i love the sweetness like i adore the sweetness in here it's got candy floss it's got peach it's got loads of different gourmand notes in here it's very 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 sweet but the oud is still present like it's equally equally as much oud as it is very sweet so if you like oud and you like gourmands you have to try this one out it is incredible like i love wearing this fragrance and uh, that's all I'm gonna say. So Qatar, I'm, I believe this one is Qatar from Roger Parfums. Next up we have a mise en serre and this is Sweet Praline. Now I, I was just reading actually a review on this. This fragrance has a lot of hate and I don't know why. I'm gonna be honest, it's very simple. Like it's a very simple sweet fragrance. It's not very complex, but I love it. I love the scent of this fragrance. I love the scent of this fragrance. I love this fragrance. Actually, I wore this quite a lot around my boyfriend and he loves it when I wear this. It's sweet, it's warm, slightly powdery and balsamic, like very slightly, a little fruity, but it's mostly just a very one-dimensional fragrance, but I'm not complaining about it at all because I personally love scents like this. So like I said, it's not complex, but if you like sweet fragrances, you definitely have to try this one. It's pretty like delicate as well. Like it's not too sweet, too intense, too heavy. It's a very delicate, sweet fragrance that I just love. So sweet praline from Misenso. Next up we have Atelier Cologne Cafe Tuberosa. I die. I die for this fragrance. Like, okay, I'm going to blow your minds right now. This for me has replaced Tom Ford Noir de Noir. Like this fragrance has replaced Noir de Noir from Tom Ford. There is something about this scent that is just intoxicating, delicious. It's very sweet. The coffee is there. The tuberose is there. But it's equally balanced between all of the notes. Like coffee, um, sweetness, cacao and tuberose. It's equally balanced and it's just incredible. It's rich sweet slightly uh incensey like a tiny bit of like an incensey touch very intense and i just adore it so if you guys like a noir de noir from tom ford um oud bouquet from lancome sort of fragrances like that you have to try this fragrance it is intoxicating like really intoxicating so atelier cologne cafe tuberosa next up we have a zerjoff and this is dorsey amalfi i believe i've talked about this one before but i wanted to mention it because I haven't spoken about it too much and I love the scent. Now this is a very unique gourmand. You guys know I love Lira from the Casmarati line, but Dulce Almafi is also really, really, really good. And to me, it's more unique than Lira. There's something about this that I find intoxicating. It's fruity, spicy, like cinnamony, a little syrupy touch, slightly powdery. It's fruity, but not too fruity. It's spicy with that like cinnamon warm spiciness to it and it's just so 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 good. I also love from Zerjoff and I've mentioned it before, Cruise de la Sur 2 which I really want to own. It's also one of my favorite gourmands ever. I have samples but I need to get a bottle. It's like a mango milky incredible fragrance but this is my recommendation here. Uh, Zerjoff Dolce Amalfi. If you want a unique gourmand that's not just like your straight up like vanilla, praline, blah 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 sort of fragrance, you have to try this one. 
Okay, drum roll. This one is definitely one of my favorites in this list right now. I am obsessed with this scent. This is Benjuan Bohem from Diptyque. Oh Lord. This is heaven. Like, it's heaven. Heaven in a bottle. It's a beautiful sweet, but not too sweet again. Woody, dusty, uh, slightly powdery and balsamic uh, Benzwin scent. It's very warm, very cozy, very inviting. You get the vanillic Benzwin touches to it, but there's a beautiful, like very subtle patchouli note in the scent, which I adore. And definitely like this powdery dustiness to the fragrance. I am obsessed with this fragrance. Like I am obsessed with it. I don't have anything like this in my collection actually. And I'm a big fan of Diptyque. I visited the boutique on uh, Saint Germain in Paris and it was like such a cool experience. And I went through all of the fragrances. There's a lot from Diptyque that I actually really want to own. But the one I went home with was Benjuan Bohem because it is insane. If you guys like the same scents as me, you've really got to try this one out. Like it's just so good, very complex, yet incredible. So Benjamin Bohem from Diptyque, I'm obsessed. Next up we have fragrance du bois Oud Orange Intense. Oud Orange Intense, let me just say it with my Australian accent. Still incredible, I took this with me to Dubai and Paris actually in an atomizer because I couldn't not have this with me. This fragrance is insane, I am obsessed with it. I also obviously Oud Jeune, Oud Orange, Oud Rose and Centaur Complet are like my favourites from Fragrance Du Bois, but I'm recommending Oud Orange because to me I think it's maybe the sweetest out of all of them. Like there is a real intense gourmand feeling to this one, it's powdery, uh, vanilla, it's a little fruity, I can't put my finger on a note in this fragrance, but there is something in here that reminds me of my past and I'm not sure why. You're a gourmand lover, you love vanilla, slightly powdery, a little fruity, coconut, beachy, but it's very, very, very intense. Uh, you have to check out this fragrance. Fragrance of War is one of my favorite houses in the entire world. So yes, I had to include this one. Oud Orange Intense. Next up, this one was actually gifted to me by a subscriber at my Dubai meet and greet. So thank you so much if you're watching the video. Um, he was so incredibly kind and he gifted me this fragrance from Chopard and this is Oud Maliki. Now this one I would say is probably the least sweetest in this list, but I'm still going to include it because for me, I would classify this fragrance as slightly gourmand. Like for sure, it's like a gourmand touches 100%. This fragrance is incredible. The quality of the juice is top notch, like really, really, really top notch. It's oud, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's powdery. It's a little woody as well. Like actually it's not a little woody, it's very woody. And I'm just in love with the scent. It's very complex, very classy, very complex. And it just smells amazing to me. Like this one just really smells amazing. Very, very expensive. So Chopard Oud Maliki. Next up we have Killian Black Phantom. Girls, 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 girls. Please get your nose on this fragrance. It is heaven in a bottle. Heaven in a bottle. It's creamy. It's milky. It's like caramelly, like it really smells like milky caramel to me, like really warm, sweet, creamy, 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 which is like my favorite. There's a boozy note in here, I believe it's rum, but I don't get much booziness in here. For me, it's more like this creamy, uh, milky, sweet, nutty sort of fragrance. And it's just intoxicating. Killian Black Phantom Intoxication in a Bottle. I know there's a fragrance called Intoxicated, but this one is like really intoxicating to me. So Black Phantom from Killian. Next up we have another Mise en Serre, and this is their new release called For Your Love. Now, oh, this is really good, but I'm gonna be honest, like I'm gonna be completely transparent here. I love Mise en Serre, I love this fragrance, but it's kind of similar along the lines of Baccarat. Along the lines of Baccarat. So, for me, I love this fragrance and I wore it quite a lot when I was in Paris, actually. Like, I wore a lot of Mise en Serre's in Paris. They smell incredible and I'm a big fan of the house, actually, like, really. 
and for your love is really good but it does smell along the lines of baccarat so just keep that in mind i know people are getting sick of all the baccarat dupes but i really love this fragrance and i still think it's worth checking out um, but if you don't want something like Baccarat, then don't look into it. So For Your Love from Misenso. Next fragrance I cannot pronounce for the life of me, so I'm going to link it down below. It's called Relativamente, Relativamente Rosso. I'm so sorry I butchered that, but it's from Bois 1920. Now, in this list, this is easily one of my best discoveries ever. Like... Easily one of my best gourmand discoveries in the past like six months. Easily. This is heaven in a little red bottle. Like this is intoxicating. Intoxicating, guys. Like I cannot describe this scent. I've never tried anything like it. It's amazing. Like really it blew me away when I tried it and I was not expecting it at all. Like I was not expecting it. Okay, to me, it's very sweet, very intense. There's some amber green here, which I really feel like anchors this fragrance and makes it really thick. There's a thickness to the scent, which sounds really crazy, but if you wear it and you spray it on and you try it, guys, you're going to understand what I mean. There's like this very full feeling to the scent. It's very full. It's very sweet. It's very warm, slightly powdery. There's almost like a chocolatey note to it as well like a slight chocolatey note. There's definitely some sugar in here, but honestly, I cannot describe the scent. It is absolutely phenomenal. Like it is phenomenal. And you guys have to try this one. If you like gourmands and you want something different, like I'm dead, I'm dead. This fragrance is just so good. So I'm gonna link the name down below because I cannot pronounce it. But I, when I first tried this, like should have seen my face, I was shocked. And it takes a lot to make me go like, whoa, that's like incredible. As a gourmand, I try many, 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 many gourmands, but this one really, really stood out to me. So that's saying something. Bois 1920, I'll leave the name down below. Next up we have Amouage Journey. Again, this one is super underrated, like really, really, really underrated. And this fragrance is so, so, so good and extremely unique. Like again, I've never smelled anything like this fragrance. It almost throws me off every time I smell it because it's so complex. Like the complexity in Journey is insane. Like it's a very, very, very complex fragrance. It has tobacco, it has honey, it has osmanthus. So it's a little fruity. It's a little, uh, let me spray it on actually. It's got honey. It's got a fruitiness to it. I definitely get the osmanthus in the fragrance, like for sure. As it dries down, it becomes a little warmer, more powdery, tobacco, um, honey. It's just insane how good this one is. Like it's one of my favorites actually from Amouage Journey and it's super underrated. Like it's very, very, very underrated. The final fragrance is again, one of my favorites from the list. This is from Guerlain and I have wanted to own this fragrance forever. Like I remember going into department stores and just collecting samples of this fragrance for like so many years. And I finally got a bottle from the Girl Arm Boutique on the Champs-Élysées. So perfect. It was the perfect timing to get it. This is Gourmand Coquine. Gourmand Coquine. It's one of the best gourmands I've tried. I just love it. Like I really, really love this scent like so much. It's sweet, it's chocolate, it's milky. I'm gonna spray it on. Sweet, chocolatey, boozy, just intoxicating again. I'm so sorry I've used this word so many times, but gourmand cocaine is just, it's gourmand cocaine. Like, it's the best. It's slightly powdery in the dry down, like a warm powderiness, like this cacao feeling, the milky chocolates, the booziness. It's just insane how good this is. So Gourmand Cocaine from Guerlain, definitely one of my favorites. That is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my new favorite Gourmand fragrances. Obviously, there's quite a few, and these are literally like my favorite Gourmands right now, like of all time. So yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.